I don't know what I thought would happen when I joined the crew, but this is not it. I thought you people would be more judgmental. Nope. You're gonna stay with us once we leave. If you leave, I don't know. Depends on where you go. My fate is bound up with the monsters now. So, if you go where they go, yes. Good to know. Well, you look at it! We've got some Elder Kraken gameplay. Bet, bet you weren't expecting that, were you? Nah, nah. Nah, but seriously, I really have to thank Alex Seed uh, for this footage. Basically, exactly the same as when Meteor Goliath came out as the first monster variation. It was only available through solo play, and you had a chance of playing against Meteor Goliath. And it was it's exactly the same with Elder Kraken. But there are a few ways you can bend the rules, which uh, people did with Meteor Goliath. And, of course... Alex Seed here did with uh, Elder Kraken. I'm not going to go into detail about it, but you just have like a couple of friends and then you go into a custom and you have to have a friend like leave and then join back. And you have, of course, a chance of being able to play Elder Kraken. And uh, they were able to do it. And so I've got a little bit of a showcase here and uh, you get a bit of a better look at Elder Kraken because I find that through solo play, you don't really get a proper, proper look at him. And also, you know, get to see a little bit, you know, of a view from where the monster's perspective is. There is actually no information regarding when you're actually able to play as him, but just like Meteor Goliath, it was very shortly after, so I would have thought that would be a similar situation. There's not many really high-resolution images available at the moment, but you can see a bit more of a closer look at Elder Kraken. So basically, he does have one eye that is in the center, and I'm sorry, but th the shit creeps me out. The fact, the fact that Turtle Rock left the sockets, the sockets where the eyes are meant to be for, you know, OG Kraken, it, it, uh, uh. But don't get me wrong, he looks absolutely dope. And uh, even more than how he looks is how his abilities look. His abilities just look incredible. I'm sure a lot of you have actually seen the names of his abilities when looking through his profile. So just comparing his abilities, Lightning Strike is more or less the same. Apart from, of course, the animation looking absolutely sick. Uh, I, the other thing is, it is very close range. I don't think you can actually shoot this from a very far distance. And you'll find out that Elder Kraken, by, you know, the other abilities, that it's more of a close range range Kraken than, you know, OG Kraken. Instead of Banshee Mines, you are left with a Banshee Missile. Now, this is obviously quite different. It's also not something you can build up like Banshee Mines. You can only shoot one at a time. Don't quote me on it, but I think it works a little bit like Bucket's Rocket Launcher, so you can move your cursor as you fire it, and it will sort of follow the rough direction where you're aiming. Then, of course, you can hit a hunter or hit near a hunter, and it explodes on impact. In replacement of Aftershock, you have Chain Lightning. Now, the way this works is kind of interesting. Interesting. So instead of affecting all the targets in a large area around you, it only affects the people that are actually stood right in front of the Kraken. Then, as you would expect, the lightning travels to multiple targets depending on how many are actually stood in front of the chain lightning. Then lastly, in replacement of Vortex, we have the Death Spiral, which is, in my opinion is probably the best looking out of all the abilities. As far as I'm aware, it's not really used that much for knockback. It's more of you stand in the way of it, you do a lot of damage. Another thing that's really cool, most of the abilities, if not all the abilities come from the one eye the Elder Kraken has, sort of like, a, sort of shoots it out, which uh, I thought was a really cool added thing, but the one thing I wanted to mention, you will notice with uh, Default Kraken, that when you're in the air, and if you're not using your abilities, if you just use the melee attack, you'll, like, throw electricity balls, or I think a lot of people call them snowballs, at the hunters, so you're actually doing damage constantly, so you're not just sitting around when you're not using your abilities. Well, with Elder Kraken, you actually don't have this option. The only 
way to do melee damage is actually by going to the target and hitting it with your tentacles. But then kind of backs up my point that this Kraken's more of a close range Kraken in comparison to the default one. And I'm kind of happy and unhappy to hear about that because the whole point of Kraken to me was the fact you could fly up in the air, keep your distance at all times or most of the time and throw your abilities at the hunters. Well, with Elder Kraken, as I said, you does seem you're going to have to get up a little bit more in the hunter's face, which I suppose will just take a little bit sort of getting used to. Having said that, I think it'll actually be a lot more fun for hunter players to play against this particular Kraken, because one thing I found as hunter anyway, playing against default Kraken, because the Kraken does keep its distance a lot of the time, you are constantly firing up in the air, and that can be quite frustrating for some hunters, especially if you've got quite close range weapons, varying on what hunter you're actually playing. But because of the situation with Elder Kraken, you'll find the player will have to come to the ground and actually fire a lot of its abilities at very close range, which will be a lot more fun for hunters to be able to actually engage with it. Anyway, one thing I wanted to mention is I know Carla's out, obviously, and I'm actually going to be making a separate video about her. I just wanted to make a video about Elder Kraken specifically because I think a lot more people are probably uninformed about what it is and uh, also how epic... Uh, Elder Kraken is in general. So him being the first of tier 2, I would have thought that the Hunter variations for tier 2 will likely follow on in the next coming months. So uh, in terms of monster variations so far, I think TRS have really outdone themselves uh, as per usual. It's pretty fucking epic if I'm honest and uh, I was pretty happy to be able to actually show this gameplay with you. In terms of whether Elder Kraken's going to be easy to play, hard to play, overpowered, underpowered, I think it's a little bit early to say because of course I haven't even had a chance to play Elder Kraken myself. I've only seen gameplay like this and also played against it, uh, well played against a bot which probably doesn't give you a very good idea. But at least from what I've seen, I would actually say that Elder Kraken's going to be pretty hard to play because, you know, it's just the fact that you're going to have to definitely get used to playing Kraken at a much closer range than you're perhaps comfortable with. But anyway, that was Elder Kraken. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and uh, I suppose if you want to get a few of your friends together, then you'll be able to have a chance of playing Elder Kraken. But until he gets released, it won't be... Uh, easy for anyone to just hop on and play him, but I'm very excited to see how he's going to play out, and also play out in tournaments with uh, Carla or just any new characters, I'm always excited to see how the pro players are going to perceive him, which, speaking of which, thank you to Alex Seeds, of course, who gave me the footage, and the uh, players which were helping him uh, actually get the footage. Otherwise than that, it's been your grizzle, your shizzle, your whizzle, and I'll see you in the next video.